What's up guys, so Halloween is finally here and today I am going to show you how to do a falling surprise drawing for this Halloween. So what you see right now is a simple house, nothing spooky or anything like that. But on Halloween, this house transforms into a haunted house. <laughs> That's right guys, today I am going to show you how to transform this house into a haunted house. <laughs> so if you want to know how to do it, just keep watching this video and I will show you step by step how to do it. Alright, alright, that's enough. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this cardboard and put it under my paper like this. And the reason I do this is basically to protect the paper that is on there from when I am coloring with markers. After I do this, I'm going to fold my paper in half like this, and then I'm going to grab the part that I just fold, and I am going to fold it in the opposite direction, like this. And I want you guys to notice that my sketchbook is upside down, because when I unfold, I unfold up, like this. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so now that our paper is ready, we are going to start by drawing a line in the center. And this is just to make sure that our drawing comes in the middle of the page. After we do this, we are going to start by drawing the door. And we are going to start drawing in the bottom part. And then the top of the door is actually going to be on the top part of the paper. So it's going to be something like this. And then we are going to divide the door... Um, based on the line that we drew in the beginning. And after we do this, we are going to start drawing the steps. So it's going to be one step like this. And as you go down, each step has to be bigger. So the top one is going to be the smallest one. And then the next one is going to be bigger. And then the next one even bigger like this, because it's supposed to be looking from closer to far. After we do this, uh, we are going to start, we're going to draw actually a line right here, uh, so you remember not to cross that line. And then we are going to start drawing the fence. So to draw the fence, I am going to draw it like this. We're just going to do lines and we're going to leave a little bit of space right here. Also try to make sure that each uh, each one of these is even to make it the same size basically so just try to calculate you don't necessarily have to measure with a ruler you can just try to calculate to make them look as similar as possible All right, so now that we do this, we're going to start closing each one of the wood because these are basically wood. So we're going to do like this. A curvy line on top of each one. OK, now we're going to close the stairs, the steps. I'm sorry. It's going to be like this. And we are going to do the same on the fence. We are going to draw a line from one side all the way across the other side. After we do this, based on this line, we are going to start drawing the rest of the house. So it's going to be one line like this and the other one right here. And then we are going to draw, based on the line in the center, we are going to draw what will be the roof. So it's going to be something like this. And then we are going to start drawing the windows. Based on this line, I am going to draw the window and it's basically just to make it look more symmetrical, but you don't have to do it exactly based on that line. It's just that I want to do it so it looks more symmetrical. So we do one like this and that's it. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a circle right here and the center line has to be in the middle of the circle and that's going to be another window. And this one right here is going to be the chimney. So it's supposed to look like this. Once we open it, we are going to continue with this line in the center. So you want to 
uh, put both lines together it's going to be something like this and then we are going to connect the lines of the the house and the fence and this is why i wanted to do it like this i wanted them to connect in the beginning so that way when we unfold the paper we can just connect them again and it will be easier to make sure that everything looks looks good okay so based on this line right here remember you're not supposed to draw anything so everything has to be lower and it goes the same for this line everything has to be in the center okay so we are going to start drawing the the rest of the um the windows so for this one i am going to use a ruler so you want to do a line like this and then we are going to do the same on this window we are basically just going to extend the line like this and you have to make sure that it's even with the other line so that way we can just close it like this okay now we are going to do the same for the inside of the window so it's going to be two lines like this and the same on the other window one like this and the other one like this and then we are going to do the same but this time we are going to do it in the center what used to be part of the door is going to be a window that is covered by by wood i don't know if you have seen probably in movies those antique houses that they have like this uh, wood doors covering the window and you can just open it and there is the window now right here what i am drawing is going to be a ghost so it's just pretty simple you don't have to do anything complicated this is going to be a basic one now for this we are going to draw the door and based on the center line it has to be even so that way it looks uh, symmetrical and then we are going to draw a circle and now we are going to connect the lines based on the line that we drew in the beginning we are going to divide the door do not draw just one line across all from top to the bottom no you only have to draw the line where there is supposed to be a line so like this don't just draw one single line because then you are going to cross the ghost and uh, parts that you were not supposed to so we're gonna draw a bat right here on this part of the house and then we are going to draw a window so we draw the square and for the frame or i don't know what this is called is is usually you know how windows are protected by this metal type of designs i don't know it's going to be a spider so i'm gonna draw some spider webs on the corner and then on the other side i am going to do the same so it's going to be the window and the spider frame type of thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> let's draw the webs spider webs and actually in the center of this door i am going to draw a spider so this is basically just going to give the impression that the spider is uh, swinging down i guess from the door as we usually see on halloween so it's gonna be something like this now on this part on this part i am going to draw the other room that doesn't show when you have the drawing folded i'm gonna leave a little bit of space right here so i can do the roof, roof, roof <laughs> of this room and then on top of this roof i am going to draw dracula 
It's going to be a very simple Dracula, nothing detailed or anything like that. So it's basically just a vampire, um, just on top of the roof, like this. So we are going to finish drawing the bottom of the cape, and that's it. Now on this part, we are going to draw a big window. It's going to be kind of like a door, but it's going to be a window, so... And then we are going to draw the bricks. Now, we didn't draw bricks on the house in the beginning because it's supposed to look like a normal house. In this part, we are trying to make it look more spooky, so... And then in this big window, we are going to draw Frankenstein or the monster of Frankenstein because Frankenstein was actually the scientist that created the creature. So it's going to be something like this. Very simple as well. Now we are going to move on to the other side of the house. And this one is going to be more than a room. It's going to be like a tower. And make sure you don't cross that line. So we draw the roof to make sure we don't cross it. And then we are just going to draw a line all the way to the bottom. This window is going to be higher than the other one because we are trying to make this side of the house look more like a tower. And in this window, we are going to draw the Bride of Frankenstein. So it's going to be, again, something simple. You don't want to do a lot of details because you don't have enough space anyways. And also because it's supposed to look a little cartoonish. So it's going to be something like this. And also on this part, we are also going to draw bricks just like we did on the other one. So we're going to draw a line and then two lines, one cross and one line, one cross and two lines, and just like that. Okay. So now we're going to draw the other bat that I was supposed to draw right here that I forgot. <laughs> it's going to be something like this. That's it. And then we are going to close this line of the roof. And you can use a ruler for this one. So we just basically connect one side to the other one. And then we're just going to draw another line crossing just to make them look more like windows. And that's it. Now all we got to do is erase those pencil lines. Okay, so now that we erased all those pencil lines, we are going to run a little test to make sure that everything looks good before we move on to coloring. So here is the house and then we open it. <laughs> Yep, looks like everything looks good. And now that everything looks good, we are going to color it. <laughs> okay, let's pick up this mess so we can move on to the coloring part.
Okay guys, so now we are finally finished. As you can see, I forgot to draw the sidewalk earlier, so I decided to draw it in the process of coloring it. Another thing that I did is I put some dark shade between uh, the extra rooms and the fence so that way it doesn't show the purple of the house and it doesn't look weird. Uh, I guess you can do it another way, for example, you can also make it just the fence all the way to the top without crossing the line, of course. And another thing that I noticed is this purple stain, which also I got some right here. And this is why I like to put a cardboard to protect the paper that is under. Okay guys, so now let's run a little test and see how everything came out. So here we have the house, nothing spooky. And then we open it. <laughs> there we have it guys. We got Frankenstein, we got Dracula, we got the Bride of Frankenstein, we got this ghost and everything else. I really like this falling surprise drawing for Halloween. And if you like it too, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this and follow me on all my social media. I don't know if people are going trick or treat this year, but if they do, please be safe out there and yep, have fun. So thank you guys so much. Have a happy Halloween and a great day.